Welcome back, guys. Going into tower number two. It is week 14, by the way. I can't confirm. So we're completely fucked now because I think we used to be odd numbers on this show. <laughs> well, at least we know. No, actually, number. we start. We were the first show. So it's been. No. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucked. Nope, it's fucked up. Never mind. Because <laughs> light, light side was. Yeah. Yeah, it's, light it's... side was second. So. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. So anyways. Um... So here, here's the list I've got of requests from the from the Imperial Requisitions Depot. So you want a, a freighter, um, some kind of ship that can get you to the planet that's not going to be have Imperial codes. So probably not like a Lambda shuttle. So that's fine. Uh, depending on your how you roll, you'll get a better or worse ship. Um, you need some explosives. And so when you're asking for explosives, you're looking for like... Um, like detonated explosives that you like plant somewhere and then blow up rather than like like thermal detonators are basically just big grenades so uh i have explosives written in here i need a set of slicing gear um some stim packs is there anything else uh let me look to see exactly what a thermal cloak does because i'd love to have some thermal armor but i don't know if that's like the fucking harry potter cloak or not um <laughs> It's like, nope, uh, that's just ex it's just protection from extreme heat and extreme cold. That would do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, did you guys get repair? You got you got back to shots, right? Back to stems for you guys. Mm -hmm. We asked for it. Yeah. That's the right. Can yes. we get some repair stuff for me? I guess that's true. We did forget you existed. Yeah. Um, okay. So you want yeah. some yeah. repair kits? Some repair okay. kits and. Uh, Let's roll for some stuff, and then I'll add some stuff at the end. Cool. Sure. Yeah. So you can always you can always attempt a requisition later, um, but it's going to be harder to get it onto the planet if you don't take it with you. Right. Uh, right. Right. I mean, I'll tell okay. you as soon as we start making these rolls. Okay. So it's just going to be one roll, um, oh, and it'll be it'll be a negotiation roll. Um, so, Theron, if you want to if you want to take the uh, take the lead on this one. Uh, no. All right. Look, I want a personal time. stealth field, Adam. It's been. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> okay, uh, you might be too big for a personal stealth field. God damn it! Let me take a let me take a look at how this show works. Maybe when he's in ball form, maybe not. Um, yeah, you know, I I might just be a ball. The old yeah. is a ball. Um, okay, let's see. Still. I I just had it. I I can find it again. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you've got a page number for me. Oh. Yeah, it. Uh, the actual gear is on. 187 but i'm trying to find the actual description here real quick okay uh oh fuck it's this thing uh it's on 195 ultimate okay. personal stealth technology personal stealth are rare and expensive and well worth the price relics of the ancient past the blah blah blah, blah. Mm. it doesn't say the size Okay. It just um, says personal stealth tech. Yeah, I, I see it here. So, um, yeah, basically, it's like an invisibility cloak. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll let I'll let you roll for that, but I'm gonna make that a separate roll because that's that's a real hard piece of. Oh gear no, it's impossible to get, but to we're get. still rolling for it. All right. Sure. If I get a fuck, if I become solid snake, ZNZ1L. I mean, Ooh. you're also really loud, though. So that's, keep that that's perfect. They won't. They'll hear it, but they won't see it. <laughs> they'll hear the thunder, but they yeah. won't see it, the lightning. Fucking exactly. Right. So <laughs> let's uh, let's get someone to roll for the the more mundane gear first. Uh, I'll do it. So this is going to be a difficulty. Uh, this is going to be a difficulty three uh, roll. Um, okay. And if you fail, you'll get just like the base amount of stuff that you need to complete the mission. You won't get any of your fun. Who, who has okay. highest negotiation? I have three yellow. That's fucking great. Yeah, I don't have anything. Sip that coffee like a Sith Lord. Let's fucking roll. <laughs> it's peppermint tea. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> Sith Lord enjoy their peppermint tea as well. Yeah. All right, let's do this. It's soothing roll. to the vocal cords as they scream. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, here we go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. cool. So uh, you uh, you're going to get... Uh, I think you'll get get all the stuff that you need. Um, they're gonna give you a. Uh, they have a, a YT twenty four hundred uh, ship that you can use. Um, it's got it's got some like uh, former smugglers like codes built into them. They're not gonna hold. They wouldn't hold up to imperial scrutiny. But the New Republic probably doesn't have the time to like dig through them that hard. Just don't make a spectacle of yourselves, and you'll be okay. 
Uh, so it's a YT2400 called the Terrapin, uh, and you can requisition use of that for the, the course of the mission. Um, it used to be a um, like a spice smuggling ship. Oh, yeah, just for the MP3. That was two successes and one That's stress. Right. Yeah, one one disadvantage. So that um, that threat that you rolled, um, something something is or wrong with threat, the ship, yeah. but you don't know what it is. Like they're like, yeah, it's a little bit temperamental. Um, it has a it has an attitude. Um, it's great. So do we all? It's great. Something's a little funny about it, but you don't have to worry about that right now. Um, and then yeah, you get your so someone someone make note that you have um, uh, like detonation charges and slicer gear. I don't know who wants to take those. Slicer gear should go to Lana. Okay. Debt yeah, charges okay. should uh, maybe oh, Talon. Yeah. I don't know. We'll should go to Lana, I think. Ma yeah, I, maybe I Lana. Yeah, I guess maybe me. Okay. What is what are debt charges based off of? Um, it'd be mechanics to plant them. Uh, yeah, I'm not. That's probably Lana. Like you probably have higher mechanics than we do, right? Uh, let me look real quick. Um, I, have one I mean, green. I can at least like carry them. Oh yeah, yeah. I have one yellow. Yeah, I think you're probably the highest then. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So you'll have some some detonation charges that you can uh, you hang on to, and then yeah, uh, six stim packs and uh, three repair kits. You can split those up however you like. Well, I guess I'll take all the repair kits. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'll take the stims. All right. How many detonation charges were there? Um, basically, like one one set. Um, one set. Okay. One set of like it's like a, a satchel charge, like a bag with a bunch of like like in um, Return of the Jedi, the little like magnetic charges that they turn on, and they can, you blow them up from a, from a distance. Okay. Um, okay, and then uh, if you want to, uh, Theron, you can try to roll for this um, personal stealth it. field. Do it, Jesse. Use, use the destiny point. Yeah, I'll try and roll for you. Use the destiny um, point. Sorry, I was trying to figure out where I knew that ship from. It's Dash Rendar's ship is what it right. is. That's right. It's a slight upgrade to the YT-1300, uh, meant to be a little faster. Shaped kind of like a Frisbee with a thing on the side. It's like and a it's poor cockpit, man's Millennium Falcon. Its cockpit is suspiciously a, like separate from the rest of the ship, which is basically like, hey, shoot at us, please. So, <laughs> That's awesome. what get shields for. Uh, All right. What what is the difficulty for this nonsense? Yeah, it, nonsense it is. So it's usually given out for like assassination missions and stuff. And hey, I mean, maybe you might need to assassinate a key member of the local government. I so would like okay. to think that you you like I overheard the entire crew talking like, what do we need for this mission? And then I just walked in, and like slammed my hand down on the table, and it was just on top of like a personal disguise or a personal stealth kit. And then I removed my hand and rolled back out to the door. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So let's see the. I'm going to check the rarity on this thing, and then we can. Oh it, was, my God. it was pretty rare. It's like twenty thousand credits. Yeah, it's insanely expensive. Um, all right. So to obtain this personal self field, it's going to be a difficulty. Uh, it's a negotiation check with a difficulty of. Let me see here. Use the use the force. Ah, here we go. Uh, difficulty of five, so five, uh, five purple dice. Here we go. Get that force point. Get an upgrade. Yeah, we'll do force point. Yeah. F it. F it. Click, I'm with you, JP. Let's click go that, nuts. Click that shit. Okay. All right. Here we go. Good luck. Uh, and there's no way I can get like a bonus thing from any of my team. Uh, no, you got to make this roll on your own. So it's just an upgrade, one upgrade, and that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll give you an extra, an extra die. Here we go. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, so you you requisition use of a of a personal stealth field. Thank you, Tom. Uh, so the the result of this roll, you got uh, four successes and four uh, four threat. Um, so. It's its use is like highly conditional, right? Like they give it to you, and uh, they're like, you know, use it in good health, but you better bring this shit back in perfect working condition, or your ass is court martialed. Like, it's incredibly expensive. There probably are like a dozen of them available to the entire empire, um, 
And also just asking for it is like, put you on a list of like, you know, keep, they're asking for a lot. So be aware. <laughs> All right. So I'll make a note. You got that. Um, I'll congrats, I guess. Yeah. Th- <laughs> I don't know if giving it to the combat droid is going to be your best use of the thing, but it's entirely up to you. So I mean, that's, Look. that's a good point. That's up to you guys. Look, we have it. We'll use it when we need to use it. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, they're like, if you if you get caught with this thing and it falls into the hands of the New Republic, you're you're fucking you're fired. You're fired forever. Don't let the enemy get a hold of this thing because they don't need any visible Luke Skywalker. Like, I like, wish we hadn't have got it. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> well. Yeah. I mean. Okay, we'll just we'll just have it, and then we'll see who uses it. It's not like wow, I'm just gonna roll. JP or... finally caught the car, and now he doesn't know what to do. It's he's true. chasing after that fucking thing, That's and now he's true. like, uh, I don't know what to do now. Well, well no, I'm I'm trying to decide like if I should use it and just constantly stealth behind you guys is the ball, so it just looks like a group of three. Everyone's gonna wonder what the hell the noise is. Then you make a like, very distinct that? noise moving around. Yeah, just say that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just my stomach grumbling incredibly loudly, <laughs> like a tank. <laughs> constantly. Constantly, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we have one. We have a personal You have one. Field. You have a personal self field. All right, so you're, you're equipped. So what's the, what's the plan here? Like, are you, you can't just, like, land in the town square and start shooting at people. Um, how are you going to – how are you going to de- destabilize the government? And also, like, have you uh, – Belsa, have you requested any, like, tactical information or, like – what what preparations have you done before you uh, before you go to the planet? Uh, to- well, we're out of destiny points. You sure are. So, so I can't I can't fabricate some stuff with magic. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, let's be honest. Adam is is not the best person to do that with because it got me killed. So I'm glad we don't have a destiny point for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, what what could I, you know, is there anything i could do tactical wise before we left yeah i mean you can make a uh, you can make a knowledge check or you can make a, ta- a knowledge warfare or core worlds depending um just to get like the kind of military history of avogadro ray or like what's current what the current situation is okay um which one of those would you prefer um well uh you can make both if you want to uh knowledge okay. core worlds will just tell you things about avogadro ray generally um, and then warfare will tell you kind of the like history and current situation. Uh, okay. So the what's the, what's the difficulty on a warfare check? Um, I think warfare is going to be difficulty two, uh, but you can take, you can take two, uh, two boost dice because you have access to like Imperial, um, uh, information center, right? You have Imperial intelligence giving you info. So. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get uh, one success and two uh, advantage. Cool. Okay, so one one piece of information, then a couple of like advantageous things, and you can ask me questions about about this too. So, okay. technically, the government of uh, so Abrogado Ray is part of the New Republic's um, like they have a, a senator and they have someone who's part of the the New Republic Senate visiting living in uh, Coruscant, and the planet itself is run by a uh, like a provisional government while they kind of like sort out the the post-imperial um situation um and there's uh there's this this regime it's called the tunde regime um it's basically just all of the um the, a bunch of off-worlders who live on abrogado ray and they founded this new government uh, and there's this promise to like clean up abrogado ray make it a lawful planet fit it into the new republic and it's led they have a, a like uh, a president i guess um named shelov uh, he's a um, he's a Herglick. Shay, Shay Love. Shay Lo- is he a fucking Shay radio Lo- DJ? Yeah. Hey, everybody, this, this is name. Shay Love on 101X. Yeah. Well, uh, wait till he, you hear this. You're he's, listening to Shay. he's not human. <laughs> yeah, he's Shay, Shay Love on 99.6, <laughs> the Love FM. Uh, he's uh, he's a Herglick, and uh, Herglicks are these kind of like whale people. Uh, he's a filthy, filthy alien. So he just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean they, they can speak they can speak basic yeah yeah that's their own native language is like that they're a water uh water-based mammal species um but his he's name the, is shay love yeah shay love is my mortal enemy adam yeah 
Okay. Well, <laughs> make a note. Make I mean, a note. <laughs> you get a plus five to hit all Shay loves. <laughs> um, he, uh, yeah. So he's he's the he's the like interim president. Uh, he's being advised by uh, the provisional governor, uh, a Bothan diplomat uh, named Kiev, uh, Kiev Kantik. And um, yeah, Kiev was sent. He's like kind of a, a major. Uh, like Bothan uh, governor who was part of the, the New Republic. He was sent out to uh, advise the, the regime. And then there's a, a body called the, uh, the Tunde Tribunal. It's the governing body of this, this regime. Um, so things are pretty good on, uh, on Abrogado Ray. Uh, its economy is, is strong. Um, the, Holy the shit, those things look incredible. Yeah, they're cool, hey. Uh, they're uh, they're they're people's like the general like happiness rating on the planet is very high. Everybody's like doing okay. Uh, so, yeah, perfect place to go and and show them how temporary this new republic's false promises are. Those are the uh, silliest looking expanded universe. This one looks I've awesome though. Look at that one. They're that basically one killer cool. whales. They're they're big killer space whales. Killer whales. Yeah, yeah space orcas. Yeah. So so I have some specific information uh, that. Our uh, points of interest are like the the Tunde Tribunal and Shalov and Kiev. Yes, it, yeah, right? those those two the two main like governmental. Uh, if you want to like make a big showy deal out of something, yeah, Kiev Kiev Kantik and um, uh, Shalov are uh, they're the the like main government people. Everyone knows them. It's like the president and the the president's advisor. So I think I come away from. Uh, you know, I come back to to Theron. And I hand him a data pad. And on the data pad is a list of key figures, political figures, as like a starting point for us to to gather information on and, and learn their whereabouts. Can I do uh, a core worlds check to see where these people would be specifically? Uh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Good luck. That seems like a hard roll. Yeah, what's the difficulty in them? So what do you what are you looking for like? Where where on the planet the like important governmental stuff is? Oh, yeah, just just here. something that would stop us landing very far away from our sure. Control. Like trying yeah. to get a little bit of accuracy. Yep. Or the difficulty. So, uh, I think probably two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Two difficulty. Core worlds check. And no bonus. Uh yeah, that's right. Okay, so you got advantage. Uh, they move around, right? Like they, especially um, Kiev. Like Kiev is a uh, on a rotation of the various like settlements and cities. Um, but um, uh, Layer, the 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 big main coastal city, uh, that's where the seat of government is. So chances are pretty good that uh, your your new Herglick friend uh, would be there. Someone okay. said those guys look like street sharks, and that's actually one hundred percent true. They totally do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. street sharks. Can no I make a can I make a knowledge warfare roll to know what type of <coughs> like combat combatants that we'd be going up against? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, what uh, what's the difficulty? Um, I think in this case, trying to figure out like what the current military situation is, um, it's going to be two. Uh, but you can take a blue die for uh, the uh, information, the intelligence uh, database you have available. Cool. So two purple, one blue. Here's the roll. Fuck, I'm just stressed yeah. out. <laughs> exactly. No. So, so this is it's a point of uh, point of some contention because uh, imperial intelligence has been sort of sort of disrupted of late. Uh, there's a lot of missing areas of the database, uh, and uh, yeah, you can't you can't pull any information. All right. Um, after this, yeah. After this agent, after this agent Primark turned New Republic, uh, you know, she she took a bunch of database information with her. Shit got deleted. The whole uh, Imperial Intelligence Network is still trying to recover. Okay. All right. Well, I'm all good. For everyone else's. Okay. Yeah, I think we just we have a situation where I I, I go to Theron's quarters and I kind of like knock on the door. <clears throat> There's no answer. Well, and as as you go there, I'm like standing outside. Just like my back against the wall, just sort of my eyes closed. Looks like I might be napping while standing up, but I don't even notice until you knock that you're there. Yeah, I just I just throw you a glance and a smile, and then face the door again and knock a, knock a second time. No answer. <laughs> I just open the door and go in. <laughs> Is it unlocked? Yeah, it's unlocked. Yeah. Okay. 
I sort of like arch my brow, but then like turn back and and close my eyes and and feign sleeping again. Uh, what do, where do I see you, Theron? What's happening when I walk? Uh, Theron is you can see around his his room. It's just sort of a mess, and he's staring out in uh, one of the the ports out into the stars, and uh, his hands are behind his back, and he's just standing there, staring out into oblivion. You're walking into Theron's room right now, Belsa. Yeah. All right. When you walk in, I'm just standing there. Okay. Uh, in your uh, so I have like a data pad in my hand, and I just kind of like stand by the door, and I'm like, "Sir, is this a good time?" <clears throat> Uh, Theron doesn't really respond. He just keeps staring out into the stars. She takes that as an invitation to keep speaking. And she places the data pad on his desk. And then just stands in the middle of the room with her hands behind her back. And uh, she says, we've identified some key figures for destabilization. Uh, the acting president, Shalov, and his advisor, Keith Kentik. Uh, and if possible, we can also disrupt uh, by attacking the Tunde Tribunal. Uh, Theron doesn't turn around, but he uh, starts to speak. And uh, he's, he's kind of quiet and a little distant, and he's like, um, Elsa, have you ever wondered about the future of our empire? As, uh, as someone who sees it often, sir, yes, every day. Do you wonder what we will do if the Republic wins? They shan't win, sir. We are an old, old system of government. We smash with a sledgehammer across the stars. It no longer works. What? I, I don't understand, sir. What no longer works? We must hone ourselves, Belsa. Hone ourselves like that of a spear tip and puncture the heart of the Republic. Belsa kind of looks at the floor and smiles and uh, looks back up. And she says, uh, I'm behind you 100%, sir. I shall need you in the coming days. I feel that our leadership has gotten stale. Their orders old. Perhaps there is another way. My only wish is to see the Alliance prosper. And to that end... You will have my help. And uh, Theron turns to her and is like, excellent. We shall bring order to this galaxy once again, my friend. A great order. A new age is coming. The first of its kind. And then, you know, cut to black, yo. <laughs> White. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, we wipe to um, to the planet uh, Avrigado Ray, and as uh, as in the hologram, uh, we see that it's uh, you know it's, it's even in its space. There's lots of lots of population. There's ships coming and going. Uh, we see several uh, obvious New Republic cruisers. Uh, some still bearing the the sort of trefoil mark of the the like Rebel Alliance, but most of them have been like refitted and repainted with the uh, the blue symbol of the New Republic. And uh, among the ships kind of around, uh, around the planet, uh, we spot a, a beat up uh, YT-2400. Uh, and uh, I assume at its controls, uh, Lana, you're, uh, you're piloting your ship in? Yep, I'm okay. piloting. Okay. So you've, uh, yeah, you've just come in from, uh, from hyperspace <laughs> and uh, you're, you're flying in towards the, uh, towards the planet. Um, and uh, I guess you're. I guess we see you flying into the atmosphere. There's no real like customs or anything happening on the planet right now, um, and uh, you're headed for uh, for the city of uh, of Layer, I assume. Yeah. It has its own spaceport. It's not a cargo port like uh, like the actual planetary spaceport, but you can land a you can land a ship there. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Cool. So uh, I think we see that as you as you fly in, and we wipe to uh, everyone getting off of the ship, uh, unloading uh, like the cargo that you have, and um, uh, I guess probably Lana, since you were the you were the pilot, you're talking to a like a deck uh, officer, someone who's who's organizing like how long you're going to be here, paying like steerage fees or I guess like docking fees. Okay. Um, so what do you yeah what do you tell him? Uh, he's a uh, he's a human. Uh, probably in his uh, mid thirties, um, got a mustache, a little cap, and uh, he's uh, he's got his data pad, and uh, and he's he's being like real friendly, right? He's like well, you know, welcomes you to the planet. And when we when we come in on uh, on the two of you, uh, he uh, he's he's uh, just inquiring politely. He's like, so, uh, how long are you gonna be in layer? I uh, okay. So are we all? Because I obviously probably look the least empire at all times but like is everyone else like in disguise of some sort or yeah i'm like in a i'm in a work shirt mm -hmm. a work shirt yeah you know like yeah, like, like the uh i don't know like the does it just say empire Star Wars with equivalent out? Of a, <laughs> it's, yeah i'm just in a, a, and i'm in a t that says like empire rules rebels drools <laughs> there you go yeah. That's yeah, it's got an embarrassing I, cartoon of Han Solo on the front. Yeah, yeah. I, I had camouflage, so I'm just like, uh, on the outside, I'm just like a, a cream color. It's like a normal armor color. Mm -hmm. mm. And ball form. <laughs> so do you come rolling out of the out of the cargo hold? Yeah. Next, okay. to, mm -hmm. next to Talon. Okay. No, you know how in Star Wars, every time someone's like in a non-uniform shirt it's that weird like i have a tan vest and like a weird shirt yeah so you look like a generic generic like star wars character background extra absolutely yeah yeah totally i've got i've got like generic dust colored cloak on yeah yeah so we got a jedi a smuggler a ball and a bounty a clearly a bounty hunter but just unclear for who we got this so yeah, what do you what do you say? Like, how are you how are you uh, interacting with this guy? Are you being like kind of cold, or because he's just he's just like making conversation? I'd say I, I'm not really being cold, but I I seem very distracted. Like I'm looking past him, looking around at like the surroundings. Do I see any other like people in particular? Like anyone that would trigger like, oh, this is that's a that's a rebel. Or uh, like yeah, that. I mean, you're surrounded by New Republic shit. There's like probably like a couple of X-wings parked in the um, in the bay. Uh, there's people in the orange uh, jumpsuits like around just talking. There are a couple of guys that walk past you, just like laughing, having a conversation. You're surrounded by filthy rebels. They're everywhere. I I reach down to my belt and I um on or I take off uh, a flask and I just start drinking in front of them and just staring for a moment. Just utter silence between us while I hear like a ball roll up kind of like behind me. Yeah, so I think he, he sees you, you take a drink and he, he laughs and he's like, ah, oh, tough flight, huh? Where, uh, where, are you, where are you folks coming from? And I, I look back to Talon and I'm like... <sighs> Talon walks up and he starts shaking his hand like, like rapidly. He's like, oh, mister, coming from the outer rim. I cannot believe we're in the coral systems. This is fantastic. Yeah, I can't he's... even hurry. <laughs> Yeah, he, he laughs and like, uh, like kind of lets you like shake his hand. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's real exciting. You're gonna you're gonna love it here. And then beautiful you see me beautiful look. weather Tom, all year. We got casinos and resorts. This really is, you know, it's it's the dawn of a new age. And he kind of like looks up at the the big new republic, um, like propaganda. There's a big like hologram of like you know volunteer for the new republic peace corps, and uh, and he kind of like nods at you and uh, he says, welcome welcome to the core worlds. There and just like gives him a big smile and looks at the the billboard and he's like, Hoo, it's a good time. I swear, I swear." <laughs> <laughs> you just see Lana beside him, just take another drink and then and then looks at the man and says, "Where's the bar? I need, uh, I need a refill." Yeah, he laughs. He's like, "Well, which one? You want the closest one or the best one?" And she looks at Talon and she's like, "Whatever has the cheapest, best alcohol. Let's go there." <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl right there. Dude, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Stop really? it. <laughs> uh, awesome. So uh, he, uh, yeah, he, he points over to, like, you, you can barely tell from the outside that it's it's not just, like, a, a garage. But, uh, yeah, he's like, there's an old spacer cantina just just right over there on the edge of the, uh, the, edge of the port. 
Um, most folks steer clear of that place. There's a lot nicer ones here, but I mean, hey, it's the only one in spitting distance. Uh, if you want to go to the the real nice stuff, uh, Fierstall Island has all the best stuff, all the nicest casinos. There's a place called Njinska's, and it's, well, it's out of my pay range. Huh? And he like laughs and kind of like slaps in the shoulder. And I, I walk, I just start walking past him. I shove myself past him and put my hand on his shoulder for a moment, and then I look at him. And then I just say nothing and keep walking and drinking. <laughs> yeah, he's like, all, all right, y'all, y'all have a good time. Uh, and you wander past. Um, cool. Okay, so you wanna you wanna go to that go to that cantina? Um, yeah. yeah. I'd say I'm walking there already. Yeah, of course. A nice one. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, island is is like a ways. Oh away. no, I, I'm okay, at the crappy one. Yeah, the crappy one. Let's go okay. to the crappy one. We'll fit in there. <laughs> sure yeah all right so you the the three of you uh, get to the get to the door um there's no like bouncer or anything um and you you head in um and uh i think that i don't know are you zn are you gonna go inside or are you gonna hang out outside where do you where do you go uh i mean does it do they have a no droid sign <laughs> like, no this is the I mean, republic you're totally welcome Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, you're you're also a weapon. You're a walking weapons platform. So they, but they don't know that. that. I'm just a I'm just a ball. They're, I mean, a ball shaped droid. You're probably a droidica. Like chances are pretty good. Or you're a BB-8 replica droid, in which case you're famous now. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. You gotta give him. Oh, that's right. No, that's right. We're way ahead of that. Yeah. You could be the BB-8 daddy. <laughs> daddy eight. I, I guess I like roll up to the. D D D D eight. D D eight. Daddy eight. Is it is it like a square building? Like what what type what does the cantina it's, look like, Adam? So it's built into the the outside of the um uh, the spaceport. So the spaceport's a big open area with all these ships kind of like landed in it. And uh off to one side, built into the side of one of these buildings. It's a cantina. It's got a crappy little burned out like neon sign above it, and it's got a, just a set of double doors that are uh that are open during business. Okay. Uh, well steps the ground into it. I'd say he can roll with us. Like, I'd say I don't care. I, I think as they walk in, I I kind of just stay on the perimeter, and it's it's like a, a rolling perimeter check, not just like a stationary one. So I'm just okay. kind of like rolling around the the edges of it. All right. So you you come in, and uh, I think the the barkeep, uh, he uh, he says to, I guess all three of the the humans, uh, <laughs> he's like, hey, watch that thing. You break it, you buy it. And like points at the dro the droid that's kind of like rolling around the room. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm like, sorry. I'm oh, doing. Gee, oh, gee, sir. We sure will. We sure will, sir. <laughs> okay. You, so works. you're gonna say, JP? You're saying I, you? I was gonna say outside. I was gonna go on the outside, but you know it yeah, already works. I'm inside. You roll past the door and it's like, watch that thing. Okay, great. great. Rolling around inside the bar, just tripping people yes. up. <laughs> So it's um it's it's pretty uh pretty small uh, in this cantina mostly like dock hands and uh, tired looking space folk that have uh, have settled in for a, a drink after uh, arriving um, uh, from points unknown and uh, yeah you're you can see an empty table uh, kind of out in the middle of the uh, middle of the bar. Uh, Theron just sits down and uh, points to his comrades and is like. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'd say I I <laughs> I sort of look at him and and blatantly ignore like his gesture to sit as I like look around the room and just like eyeballing people. So how many people are in there? About is it full? Um, I wouldn't say it's like it's not like bumping or anything. There's maybe like thirty people. Okay, but well, it's a small after, place. Yeah, then I just sit down. Is anyone? Do I see anyone visibly very armed? Um, yeah, I mean, most people have a, a holster with like a blaster pistol on them. Nobody's carrying like heavy armaments, but everybody's got a weapon. It's okay. dangerous times. <laughs> yeah, these people are me. Okay, I sit down, put my feet on the table, my flask on the table next to my feet, and just wait for the uh, the waiter or someone to come. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Elsa just scoots in. She's got like a cute little grin on her face, like she's happy to be there. <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of like rusty like banged up looking protocol droid comes over uh and uh and and takes your drinks uh, your drink orders um and uh yeah and heads back to go and get them yeah people's initial interest in you has faded I and mean, they, they looked up when you came in but now aren't really paying attention uh theron 
sort of sort of uh glossing over what i imagine is one of those like bar menus yeah it is just sort of looking over this data pad and there's a little there's a little hollowed projector in the table that like displays pictures of like you know my god like various things like bantha wings and like you know and you can kind of flip through they're them. fabulous yeah and so he just he's skimming through and he's like so where shall we stay tonight and he like gives a glance over to belsa and lana and Lana looks over and just says, I like the other accent more. <laughs> <laughs> and and Theron just ignores her. <laughs> rolling through and he's like, they did mention there was a very rich section of town. You know my tastes. And he, and he just keeps scrolling through. I take the flask and, and start to drink. And I'm like, ah, let's, let's get a little culture. Let's stay somewhere... Uh... A little less fancy. You know the wealthy. When they feel secure, they let their guard down. And, well, we wouldn't want anything bad to happen to them, would we? Hmm. Elsa kind of chimes in and she's like, uh, Lana, I don't think that our targets are going to be in the poverty zone. Oh, damn. I want to stay away from the poverty zone. That place sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> It's the worst Sonic the Hedgehog level. Yeah. The Poverty Zone is the worst. It's the yeah. worst one. Yep. It's only like, there's only like one ring in the whole level. Yeah. Depressing. Yeah. It's in the water. It's, you have to go underwater <laughs> and you drown to get it. It sucks, man. Tough level. I look over at, uh, at Lana, or not Lana, not at myself. I look at myself. No, I look over you at see yourself Lana. in a nearby mirror. And go, damn. Yeah, you're looking pretty good. <laughs> I look over at Belsa and I'm like, well, if you do recall, that is how we started chaos last time. Theron's, Theron, Theron looks up at her and he's like, do I recall? You see, dear, I think this time we'll do something a little more grand. But all grand plans require grand staging points. And if there are casinos on this planet, there are rich people who don't know what to do with their money. We'll use said rich people. But first, we must find a home base. Lana just shrugs and starts drinking again. And Theron looks at her and he's like, that's good. Do what you do best. <laughs> and like goes back to the menu. <laughs> <laughs> and um, did we get any info on where the rich sector is? Um, you know the name of it, right? Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a section of the city um, called, uh, it's, a, it's about like, 50 kilometers out in the in like in the bay uh called Firstall Island and it's um it's like its own little like sub city and it's home to all of the kind of like resort uh and like amusement park area of uh, of town it's kind of like the the playground of layer um so nobody lives there but the the nearby kind of like coastal area uh is where you know rich people have uh, homes there. They don't always all like, it, you can basically think of this place as like Monaco, right? Like people don't all necessarily live here, but rich people will come from other parts of the core world to like hang out and party. It's, it's like Venice a little bit too. There's canals and shit everywhere. It's like a very watery society. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around the bar to see if there's anyone, uh, any gentleman sitting alone I could speak mm -hmm. to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, a kind of gruff looking, uh, spacer, uh, sitting, uh, just sitting, having a drink by himself. Okay. I just let myself down from the table and take my drink and go over and park up next to him. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's, uh, I think he's at the bar. Um, he's wearing a, um, like a, a gray jumpsuit. He's got a utility belt on. Um, and, uh, he's got, uh, like, yeah, thinning gray hair and a, a big bristly mustache. And uh, yeah, you walk up next to him and he, he looks over, like nods at you. Did you put your robes in sexy robe mode? No. <laughs> yeah, he nods at you. Yeah, like, he just, sexy just robe mode. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> Force lift and separate. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah he, he, he nods to you. He's like, ma'am. All right. Belsa just smiles and she's, uh, she's like, hi, could I ask you a couple of questions? Kind of like, like a man who knows his way around. Let's let's see if you can be charming, Ice Princess. Right, let's do it. Yeah, make a make a difficulty two charm roll. Good charm. 
Go ice versus charm. <laughs> I'm gonna charm him. Oh god, no, difficulty not. two? No, you're not. No, difficulty two. Uh, I, I mean, I could just, I could cheat this scenario. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do touch of fate. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So I think what happens is Belsa kind of, like, as she's speaking to him, she just reaches over and like touches, brushes his hand with her hand mm -hmm. and, um, and attempts to like manipulate his emotions a little bit. Yo. Yeah, so, so touch touch of fate is more like you um you just picked the exact right guy potentially uh of everybody in the room okay uh, like something something coincidental happened that you managed to like tune into maybe let's i see can like you... tune into this guy's loneliness or something yeah let's see how you right. let's see how you roll. Right, let's, let's see what's going down so i get two two blue for this roll mm -hmm. uh, charm let's go oh, <laughs> oh shit, shit. All right. So, what what his would you? Pants blew off. Touched him. His pants. It's important to have ablative pants in case of situation just like this. Yep. Uh, so, Belsa got two uh, two successes and three advantage. Uh, would you? Okay. So, what's your what's your angle here? Do you want him to see you as like? Do you want to remind him of like his his daughter or his wife or his girlfriend? Like, what's the what's the angle you want to have in on this? Let's. I mean, let's do a daughter. Let's go for a daughter thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. Like, uh, like I'm, I'm kind of like needing some help here. Yeah. So like, okay. Yeah. He, he sees you. He, like, he looks you up and down and, and he said, you mind if I ask you a few questions? You look like somebody who knows the way around. Yeah. And he, he, uh, he says, um, uh, yep. Yeah. Have a seat. You, uh, you, you here by yourself. And he, he's saying it in a, like, he's concerned about you kind of way. Uh, yeah. I'm just like, oh no, I, I'm here with my friends, and I kind of gesture over to the table. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like, we're just we're we're very new, and we don't know our way around. Uh, I'm trying to find transport to the coast. Do you? Would you be able to help me with that? He uh, he, he nods. He says, um, you, uh, you you have credits. Uh, it's easy to get around here. Plenty of transports if you can pay for them. Do we have credits? I mean, you have what you have on you. So, so no. Yeah, not a lot. No, you probably have some pocket change, but. Well, I like... don't have any change. It was a pun. Jeez. <laughs> no, like, her, her, her face suddenly turns a little bit sad, and um, and she looks down and she says, well, "You see, our our ship malfunctioned, and we we don't actually have many credits, so." Yeah, he, he nods kind of sadly and says, um, huh, yeah, I know how that goes. I've flown a few junkers in my day. Uh, he looks over at your, at your friends and he says, um, Darren hey, waves. <laughs> where, yeah. uh, where are you trying to go? You, you got a hotel, some friends you're staying with? Yes, yeah, we do. Uh, you, they got an address? Uh, can I just like off the cuff grab a, a street yeah i mean i think you were you were properly uh you know properly prepped to know the the general like location so where are you where are you trying to get just down into that like coastal area yeah we're just trying to get to the 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 higher wealth sure yeah so you give him an address and he kind of leans back he's like hmm that's a good neighborhood lots of money there i'm you i'm i mean i'm sure we could pay you once we arrived he uh, he shakes his head and like puts his hand up and, and uh, no 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't think of charging you for it I got some errands to run downtown anyways and he, he looks over and uh, at your friends he's like um, uh, that that everybody yeah 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 he nods and looks at his drink well you let me finish this and uh, maybe one more and I uh, will we'll head out that's kind of like claps with glee and she's like thank you so much and like hugs him. <laughs> And yeah, then, he, and he, then he, la he laughs yeah. and he kind of like he gets his hands up when you hug him. So you hug him kind of with his hands to his chest, and he's like, oh, "Okay, okay, little, well, all right, all right, then." She gets down from the the stool next to him and starts walking back over to the table with the other guys, and you see her face as she turns away, and it goes right. from this like cute grin, it just contorts to like resting sure, right. face, just like that, and she right? Like, walks back over to the 
the table and um, finishes her drink and she says, I've secured transport for us. And uh, Theron still just living through the menu. And he's <laughs> like, and I see you've done what you're good at too. And just keeps going and, and looking through and finds nothing and just sort of closes it. Okay. So the uh, the the bartender droid comes and brings you your brings you your drinks, and uh, you just hang out till uh, till this guy's done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, his name's Eldon, um, and you get Eldon pretty much love. you get you get pretty much his whole his whole life story if you want it when you're in the the vehicle. Yeah. So he leads you he leads you to uh, he's got a. Um, Do I just follow behind the car? Because Sam didn't say that I was also with exactly. Yeah, I mean, you can you can roll it like. Yeah, trans- like, can I just roll it behind the car? <laughs> That'd be funny. There's just a ball. Can you like attach somewhere to it? I I would assume you would just follow us at distance, like rolling. I mean, I can roll. What did you say the top speed was, Adam? Like seventy? I can't remember. You can go pretty fast. Speed. Better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. That's what I was banking on. You yeah, just then I just follow. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he, he finishes his drink, comes over to your table, uh, and he introduces himself uh, to uh, Lana and, uh, and Theron. Um, so, yeah, do you, how, do you, how do you respond? Like, he comes over, he's uh, Belsa's new friend. He comes over to the table, and uh, he's like, um, I'm Elden. Uh, I guess I'm giving you a ride. Uh, Theron's like, oh, sir! I am so thankful we, we came here uh, just to get a little R&R, if you know what I mean. And now all of a sudden our ship is all messed up and it's just, woo! I thank you, sir. Thank you so much. My girls here, they are just so thrilled that you're helping us out. And he, he looks at <laughs> Lana's face. <laughs> he looks at Lana and, and Belsa and uh, he's like, uh, these two, your daughters? And he, he goes, they'll tell you otherwise, but I, woo! You know, I've been raising them. I've been trying my hardest. Figure we come out of here for vacation. You know how hard it is to get I, kids. I think over the comms while you're in mid conversation, you just hear the uh, the droid be like, "Talon, please stop. <laughs> no more." <laughs> yeah. So he he, he kind of chuckles and he's like, "Yep, I got some kids myself. Real trouble." And uh, he he looks at Belsa and he's like, "You seem nice enough." You just like see my, 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 I'm just like permanent, just like this. Like, I can't. <laughs> apple, apple of my eye. Fruit of, fruit of my looms, if you know what I mean, sir. I love it. So a grin on my face. And you just see me reach up and like the hood that I have, I just pull it like even further over. Just like. Also, <laughs> like, also grabs Theron's arm and like hugs it, like leads in. Can we, can we, can we for a moment. Talk about the age of these characters because yeah. I don't know how much older I am compared to the rest of them. <laughs> I, I listen. Uh, the thing is, you, you yeah. would have to have you would have to have gotten a, a real early start. Theron is all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't look. It's people keep buying it, so f it. We're in. We're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, on the outer rim, things are a little different out there. You hit 13, you got to get to work. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, Tatooine child bride. I see how yeah. it is. See, you see, like the joy lay another drink, and I just like slam it and put it back down on the table, and then just put my hand back and just sit here. Yeah, <laughs> it's rough out there. We're so thrilled to be here in the inner rim, man. All oh, these core worlds are so fantastic. I'll tell you what, it's great. So we 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 wipe to uh, the inside of this this guy's truck, and in the rear view in the rear view mirror of the of the land speeder, we can see. The, the ball shape of ZM's like rolling along behind it's like you. like dust being kicked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so unless you, unless you're actively like activating it, I assume the stealth field is not being used. You'll have to nope. tell me. Yep. It. I'll let you know when it's being used. Yeah. Um, so I'm, tr- you, I'm you trying my best to like be in the dirt that the speeder is kicking up. Yeah. 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 In the, in the traffic. So yeah, everybody gets in and, and you head out uh, in this this guy's land speeder, and uh, yeah, and he he's he's like not chatty, but he's willing to kind of like tell you he's willing to talk and tell you about his his story, right? And he, he tells you, you know, he's been on he's been on every every major planet from here to Kessel, uh, and uh, you know he he tells you he was like you know a, a space freighter pilot uh, back in the in the Clone Wars days, and he's seen some stuff, but uh, boy, is he glad all that war business is over, and. Um, 
Yeah, he's just he's just stopping in Abrogado Ray uh, to to drop off some supplies before he uh, picks up and heads up the uh, up the uh, back to run one more time. But uh, he he's mentioned several times like you know he's, he's getting a little old for this shit, and um, he heads out and and we see we get a, a nice long kind of like establishing shot of the of the city and you're heading towards the the bay which is just this beautiful like sapphire blue uh, the sun shining on it we can see this little island uh, out in the distance and lots of like uh, sail like catamarans out in the uh, in the water and um, over all of it you know there's there's just real evidence of like the city being having been cleaned up. Uh, we see like janitorial crews um, picking up uh, debris and like keeping things clean and uh, people seem to be uh, doing pretty good and it gets nicer and nicer the closer you get to the water until he stops and uh, and he's like uh, well uh, this is it and he looks up and you're stopped outside this like beautiful like resort hotel and uh, he kind of he kind of whistles uh, impressively it's like wow that's a real nice place you uh Y'all take care of yourselves. Belsa like entertains him one last time and is like, are, are you sure we can't pay you some way? He's like, oh no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hear of it. It's been my pleasure. Space gets real lonely, you know, out there. So nice to have some folks to talk to. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Yeah. So he uh he lets you out. And, uh, and he leans over and uh, pulls the door closed. And through the open window, he uh, he says, uh, "Yeah, y'all, y'all have a good time." And uh, what is it they say? May the may the force be with you. And uh, he smiles and puts the puts the speeder in gear and heads off. Aww. And then your your droid rolls up behind you. Yeah, so you're standing outside a, a huge, like, multi-story uh, luxury hotel. There are several of them uh, on this street, and from here you can look right across the right across the bay. There's a, a gentle ocean breeze blowing. Um, the the scent of salt is in the air, and um, yeah. So here you are. All right. Uh, Theron looks around and he sees the resort. Are there any uh, homes nearby? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some, um, like, a little further up the sort of escarpment, there's some, some really nice, uh, like, ma- mansions, basically, space mansions. Great. Yeah. Uh, Theron looks at the hotel, and then looks over at this, this space mansions. Yeah. And he's like, I feel like we're going to be here a while, so who wants to go house shopping? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Uh, Theron holds out his hand. And he's like, my dear. <laughs> and uh, begins to walk down, or I guess up, yep. towards all the different houses. Okay. Yeah. So you, uh, you walk up into, um, yeah, like the, the sort of nice neighborhood. There's, there's big wide lanes, um, not a ton of traffic up here. Uh, and, um, all of these, uh, these like sort of mansions, uh, are, they're kind of like the, the big houses in like you would expect to see in like LA, like they're the kinds of houses that like rich and famous people live in, um, kind of in the nice part of town. They overlook the bay and they all have a degree of like security to them. They all have walls, the, the sort of driveways have, um, like energy gates or, uh, kind of ornate looking like actual like metal gates. Some of them have just like droids standing outside the concierge droids. Um, probably most of them have some kind of like comm system built in. You can't just walk up to the front door. Right. Uh, Theron uh, asks Lana to use her uh, scouting skills to find us a home that uh, is either empty or lightly occupied. Like uh, with minimum security, stuff like that. My scouting skills. What would streetwise? Yeah, uh, I mean, if you're, you're casing, you're casing the neighborhood for a good place to bust into. Yeah, yeah. that'd be that'd be it. Okay. Um. So. Okay. 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 She just shrugs, doesn't say shit back to him. She's a little pissed off at him. Maybe. Uh, maybe Belsa can pick that up. I don't know. But should I just roll? I didn't sense anything. <laughs> yeah. So tell me what you're, what Lana, what are you looking for? What if you succeed at this role? What what will you have? Will you get? I'm saying that uh, she'd be looking for either a house that's empty or has a small enough family that they could take it hostage. Okay. Oh, yeah, hostage. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, well, she uh, would say hostage. Someone didn't get the memo. Yeah, the two little like droid hands come up and go hostage. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. Well, she's yeah. still under the full impression that they're not going to kill them. So if you can if you can get a triumph, you can find an empty house. Uh, oh. Otherwise, you'll the more success you get, the the easier your operation for busting in will be. And all the uh, advantages you get on this roll, you can. Yeah use on any role you need to to get into the house so um, it's a high it's kind of a high security um high security neighborhood so let's say um is there any way like she can i can go uh to the ritzy cantina and kind of like scope out some of the people there and talk to them first yo that's a genius idea use your feminine wiles and, and get us a house well wouldn't that be uh wouldn't that be belsa's job only one of us has gone back to some dude's house and put a tag on him that got him killed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know that. <laughs> and also would never lie with rebel scum, all right? So street, streetwise is casing the neighborhood, like walking around, looking at the security systems, all of that. You could okay. supplement that by going to a, a cantina nearby and, and like asking around. But if you fail that, chances are someone will notice you. I mean, if you fail either of these, like you're, you're gonna sort of twig the, the security systems in the area. But well, uh, you can, either, one, either one is an appropriate vector. You could do either one or both. Or could we feign injury and then just fucking break in and kill them anyway? I see you've also seen <laughs> Blockwork Orange. <laughs> like, I, like she just straight up can take out something, cut herself, like put the blood all over the place and run up and say well, she's medical yeah, attention. Yeah, let's, let's take a break here and you can decide <laughs> how, how awful you want to be about this. But that's, I mean, also a valid approach. So we'll see how we do home invasion, Star Wars style, uh, when we return. Right, uh, great. It's only going to get better. I got plans. I got plans for days. Jesus. All right, we'll come back. <laughs> go in the other uh, hour three right after this. We'll see you guys in just a bit. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>